Well, I think uh, 10 years from now, uh, we'll laugh that we thought that healthcare and academics were going to somehow escape the consumer and digital revolution that has existed in every other industry. And I think that uh, we'll also laugh about the fact that we thought we were immune and, and that we were too big to fail. So I think that what will happen is you'll start to see universities that don't get it. Uh, start to fail and, and hospitals that don't get it start to fail. I think that 50% of all education and healthcare will be done outside of the university or the hospital, will be done closer to home. I think from Jefferson's point of view, Jefferson will be viewed as one of the places that really started the revolution around healthcare with no address and education with no address. Well, I think we have to get away from this mentality that the physician and the administrator is the boss and really move to one where the patient's the boss. So I think the other thing that has to happen is we have to recognize that about 80% of healthcare is not what happens at the doctor's office or the hospital. It's what happens at home. It's food. It's education. It's poverty. So I think what you'll start to see is that healthcare entities and educational entities will start to really take population health seriously and really say, it's my job to make sure that the population is healthier. It's my job to make sure that there's healthy nutrition alternatives in the areas that really don't have them now. You know, if there's six whole foods areas in one area and they're just bodegas in another, we have to fix that. So I think you'll start to see the academic and the healthcare industries in Philadelphia start to say, let's get together not just compete about who has a bigger MRI, but let's get together and really solve some of these health inequity problems.